Welcome back. This is still tea time and our guest is a Kenyan based in Nigeria, a music pastor and first lady of Revival Assembly Church, Emi Koski. I mean, she's not a guest here anymore. <laughs> she's a family member, right? Yeah. So let's start with... Mm. Family. Yeah. That's why yeah. she's here, yeah? There's a new single, a gospel single. But before that... I'm sure you were watching us before you came in, yes, yeah? Yes, yes. And you heard our conversation regarding mm -hmm. grace. grace yes. So can you, I mean, in your own understanding and your capacity as the first lady of a church, right, mm -hmm. what do you understand as grace? How would you explain that to someone who, like my co-uncle had to step down, if you're mine. Mm -hmm. How would you understand, explain that to her, rather? I think I agree with you. Okay. I concur with you that uh, it's not hard work. Hard work is not what um, gives us what we get is grace. Because if it is hard work, as you are explaining, there are people who work really hard. There are people who wake up at 5, 3. Mm. They are already on, on the road going to mm. the market. There are people who push, you know, all those things to carry food. People work hard. So, and, uh, so it's not hard work. There is an upper hand that helps, that, that gives a divine, that fills in that we call grace. Mm. So grace gives you unmerited things unmerited favor so what are the things that you think can affect you your grace because i know all every one of us we all have grace it's just knowing when to unless it yeah. so um what are the things that could mar your grace i think grace is just i think when you depend on god in everything that you do and understand that it's not hard work you know there are people who say i've worked so hard for this for this mm. job, it's my hard work. For this award or for this job I'm in now, it's because of my hard work. That's where we miss it. Mm. But it is an understanding that mm. there must be a divine move for you to get some things that it is not obvious. Mm. It's not obvious <coughs> in life. And when you understand that, that you don't take things for granted. Mm. Um, in other words, you cannot position your destiny helpers. Mm. When God wants to help you, you cannot really appease anybody to mm. help you because destiny helpers are not known. Okay. This, you I can't know to, them. Before we get into your single right now, mm -hmm. I want to maybe speak for... I've, I've had conversations with those that will call themselves atheists mm -hmm. and those that don't really believe in God and just mm -hmm. believe in living mm -hmm. their lives mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. see how it goes, yeah? And in the same Bible, I've seen or I've read where God said, I would, I choose whom I, mm -hmm. I will show my mercy mm -hmm. to. You know, I'm paraphrasing right yes, now. Yes, I choose yes. who I love. Now, um, there are people that will sit down and say, why is this God sitting back and watching everything happening in the world? Mm. Those are even working hard mm -hmm. and um, they still have to go through what they go through. Is mm -hmm. it that he doesn't care about them? He has chosen the set of people he wants to care about. Mm -hmm. You know, how would you explain that oh, everything to someone happens who for wants a reason, to understand? Like we always say. What I would say is, in the same Bible says that God is God of times and seasons. Mm. So we cannot all prosper at the same time. We cannot all do well at the same time. Mm. It's just because in our human mind, we cannot understand when is our timing. Mm. You don't understand when will you blow or when mm. will you make it. Mm. Simple things will make you stand out and mm. just open some you know, divine doors. So the only thing that God has kept from mankind is to show them their seasons and timing. You don't know, but you just live by faith. And you know one time it will be my turn. So anybody's turn. So the fact that you are up doesn't mean that you are most favored. Mm. It means it's your season. Mm. And you, you've seen people, they are up and then they disappear. Someone else comes up. Mm. Mm. You've seen people spontaneously, like that girl that was selling bread. Mm. You know, just one picture changed that destiny. And we need everybody anyway. Even yeah. those that we think are down and those that are up. Exactly. But very quickly, because of our time, let's talk about um, the single. Yeah. Yeah. So um, that's a, a, an amazing song, right? And when I was listening to that, they were Reminded me of a song which is uh, making the airways right mm. now, which is wonderful by mm. Bonnie Boy. Mm -hmm. I don't know if you know Bonnie yes, Boy. Yes, yes, You do know mm -hmm. Bonnie Boy. So, would you say that a collaboration with a, an artist who isn't actually a gospel artist is okay for you as a gospel artist? Um, it would be technical mm. because of the messaging. I would be singing about something else, and maybe he's singing about something that else. That can be so controlled. But sometimes when you sing what you don't mean, it does I want to believe that Bonaboy has a faith as well. He has faith. Even if, if he's, he's a Christian, not a, why not? Okay, if he's a Christian and not doing do. gospel songs, you still collaborate with Yes, yes. Okay. Because there are people who do, you know, other types of songs. It may not be a gospel, but mm. they are still Christians. Mm. Yeah, so why not? 
Okay. All right. So um, this video now showed a lot of live performances mm -hmm. and all of that. Mm -hmm. Like, is that how you like to do your music? You know, it's not like you're just going to the studio and they do all the digital stuff that we see these days. You like to have your live band with you, you know, performing, you know, playing you the drums, playing the, the trumpets. piano, the trumpet. <laughs> yeah. Is that how you actually come up with your music? For? Actually, what happened for this song? It's called Malo. Mm. I recorded it live at Revival Assembly. Mm. That's our church. And it was produced by Oliam. Mm. Oliam is a jazz musician, a Nigerian jazz art artist, but he's a producer as well. And uh, with all the singers, the instrumentalists are Nigerians. Mm. So it was exciting for me, one, to have people sing a language they don't know, mm. and then execute it so well. And then it was my first time like recording like a whole album live. And uh, it was a quite experience caused by COVID. Because mm. <laughs> I was to travel to Kenya where I do my recording. So when they, there was lockdown and there was like, it can't be opened. That's when I entered into prayer. It comes back to that thing we were talking about, God of times and seasons. Yeah. So it was like, this is a season for me to do it actually with a different group and to do it live and it was awesome mm. okay so speaking of covid i like the fact that you said um god is a god of times and seasons <laughs> right um they say every disappointment is a blessing yeah. so covid 19 even though it just doesn't devastating on the world in mm -hmm. general what would you say has been your greatest lesson from this period my greatest lesson has been never um depend on on what do you call like your structured life or your understanding mm. that even in this COVID season I've learned that people have really had major breakthroughs people have gotten new jobs some businesses have excelled some people have done so well in this season so don't I've learned that you should never be carried away don't lock yourself in seasons mm. just stay focused and just know every season works for you yeah mm. unfortunately we need to go but can mm -hmm. you do a chorus or a verse from malo where we go okay. Okay. malo 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 asigo walu malo 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 asigo walu and i did this part in ibo ogenta Chukuna Gazagi. Mm. So the song is out. Mm -hmm. It's on, on all, all platforms. digital platforms yeah. and it's on YouTube as well okay. with all lyrics translated. Okay, cool. I wish we Thank can actually say so it to much. your bar and say Malo, but Okay. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for watching and please do send your opinions via WhatsApp to zero nine zero six thousand five seven one nine or Twitter to WhatsApp plus TV Africa. My thank you as always to go to my co anchors, Ife Omai and Ife Oluwash Okay, and of course is our it? guest Amy. Thank you for being here. Yeah, and of course the entire production team. My name is Elsie Godwin. Please do stay safe.